Hey, welcome to this year's Fresh Food Festival. I'm going to try and get this out live as much as possible. So within a few hours of shooting this, this should hopefully be on the internet. But I want to show you what's happening because this is the Fresh Food Festival 2015 and we have just begun. Right now people are in the kitchen preparing food and all the guests are in the big sports hall and they're having a social get together to get to know each other. So I'll come and uh, come along and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, the school is normally a boarding school for teenagers and uh, this festival has been going on since 2008 and this, uh, well, the first year was in Sweden and then the second year it was here in Denmark and, and the location has changed but now we're here, it's about 20 minutes just outside Copenhagen and it's just beautiful, beautiful nature and pretty, pretty awesome here and um, actually we have one of our guests here and I just <laughs> wanted to ask you, like, uh, why do you come? Why did you come? Oh, I just came to meet some nice fruity people and just be in good company, enjoy my time, have some good food and I think that's just the best place to do it. Awesome. It's actually my first time and yeah. so far I'm really enjoying it and awesome. I'm loving it. It's really nice. Yeah, and uh, you're also volunteering? So yes, I am. Yeah. I'm the Toastmaster. Uh -huh. And that's so great to have you here. So we use a lot of volunteers to help get everything sorted. But uh, let's go in the kitchen and see what they're making for dinner. Come, come. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's still early days and I think it was something about noodles that they were making, but I'm not sure. So uh, we'll go and ask Chris Kendall, you know, the, the crazy raw advantage chef. So yeah, let's see. We always have like six, seven, or eight volunteers going. And uh, over here, oh, hey. we have uh, Chris just about to make some uh, what? We have our classic Fresh Food Festival mango tomato sauce. So it's going to be an awesome dressing with a base of honey mangoes, amazing tomatoes, there's some uh, green onions. What else do we have in here, Chef? Huh? Uh, they're just lime. Lime, yeah. Lime, yeah. Lime um, yes. We get green onions and uh, mangoes and uh, tomatoes. And then uh, we are searching for cilantro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Should be delicious. So we're just going to blend it up with this super big, like uh, almost like industrial size construction style blender. Because when you're building sauces for 100 people, you've got to make a big time, right? Take it out. Awesome. And uh, who else? Yeah, we have some people washing the salad here. And um, people cutting avocados and mangoes in the background. And uh, oh, Marina over here. Come on. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, uh, well right now I'm in charge of exotic fruit and, um, and just uh, the first course of the dinner which gonna, is going to be tonight, strawberries and exotic fruit and then uh, my, my duty is to just to make everything look pretty and put the labels on all the meals and it's that's it. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, um, I think it's time to go into the sports hall and see what people are, are doing there because they're doing some kind of meet up where... Um, oh, a meetup where they get to know people that they didn't know before. So kind of a speed meeting we call it. And uh, well, let's check it out. So the sports hall is right in there and it's so important to meet new people when you're living alone on this diet and lifestyle. So uh, people sitting in here chatting and just meeting people that I've never met before. And I know there's people from all over the world here. Um, so. This is what it looks like. It's not dating or anything, it's just getting to know other people. So... And that's about it. Come back tomorrow and we'll do another more or less direct episode of uh, the Fresh Food Festival Direct.